This is a very great dua, prayer, and in this the human being, the servant, is asking and pleading Allah for help, assistance. Dua, supplication, the meaning of dua is this indeed, that the servant expresses humility and submissiveness in front of Allah Ta'ala. That, oh Allah Ta'ala, I'm very weak, please assist me, please help me. So in this, the summary is that the servant is asking from Allah Ta'ala. Ya dafi al baliyat. Baliyat, difficulties, tragedies, ordeals. Now, every different person, uh, it's according to his thinking, his own standard. That what does he consider as baliyat, as difficulties, as tragedies, or an ordeal? The person himself, in his mind, what is there? That what is the difficulty for that person? What is the the distress that he's asking Allah protection from? Then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala accepts that request, specific. It's a hadith of Qudsi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states that I am with my servant the way he is, the direction of travel that he is going in, what he's thinking. So whatever you ask for, Allah ta'ala bestows that. So if we, in our minds, we have this point that I want to be saved from this and this, then this is a difficulty for that person. He thinks that's that baliyat. Or if I want to be saved from this tragedy, then for that person, that's his specific difficulty. Or if another person has got difficult circumstances, problems, then for that person, these are his difficulties or ordeals. But one common uh, difficulty, ordeal, tragedy, which is attached to every individual, is the biggest uh, ordeal, you could say. Rather, all difficulties emanate from this difficulty. This is the root cause of all ordeals. And that is, um, for this specifically, we should make an intention that this difficulty, this ordeal, we should ask Allah protection from them. What is that? That, oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, don't make me, please don't make me weak in my deen. Because weakness in deen, faith is the biggest ordeal. Or tragedy, you could say. And after this, all difficulties and ordeals emanate from this. So most definitely, when we do this dua, what we're asking from Allah, that is all. So, okay, other problems, difficulties, put them in front of you. But consider this, that the... The root cause of all afflictions and troubles is this, that when a person is weak in the deen, weak in his faith, when he's weak in his worship, ibadat, when he's lazy, that overwhelms him. I want to pray salah, but I can't pray salah. I want to pray in congregation jama'ah, but I cannot arrive there. I want to do perform dhikr, but I can't do it. I can't complete, I'm just doing partial of my actions. So all of these are troubles and afflictions. And distresses for a human being. Very big. So contented, prosperous and happy. Most better off is that human being that from morning till night he fulfills all his tasks and duties easy. You can say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given everything to that person. Whatever task or duties Allah gives to a person, his matters, daily matters. And daily he should consider 100% I'm going to complete them from morning to evening. I won't let any gap come in those actions or duties. For example... I want to pray Salah in Jama'ah congregation. Every prayer I want to pray in congregation. I, the wazayf, the lessons that have been given to me, I want to complete them. My, my prayers and my actions. And completely I want to save myself fully from the sins. Every, I don't want to do any action that causes displeasure to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in my life. So if anything is lacking in these specific points, then this is the biggest affliction and trouble and difficulty the other problems are nothing in comparison to this. Why? Because with the, these, Allah Ta'ala directly is unhappy. And if Allah is unhappy, then that's the biggest affliction and distress for a human being. Remember, the other things are superficial. Remember, anyone who disobeys Allah, then the whole universe starts to disobey that person. The whole universe goes against that individual. And such a human being, 
on him from the heavens and the earth, the curses are sent. That he is not deserved that he eats Allah's food, Allah's bread. He is not deserved of attaining Allah's ni'mah. So I think that when we do this dua, Ya Dafi al baliyat then definitely think about this subject. That oh Allah Ta'ala, Allah, this is a great dua of the Holy Prophet ﷺ that he asked and he taught us that ask Allah, oh Allah Ta'ala, to me Allah, please don't let me go back to my previous condition, my old days, and that I fall back and go into my old ways and my old lifestyle. You have put me onto the deen. I could fall at any time. I could sleep up any time. At any time my circumstances could change and I could go back to reverse. So what a big ordeal and affliction for that person. Look at those people who used to practice the deen, they used to pray salah towards Allah, then suddenly they turned back, did a U-turn and they went back to their old ways. So this is the biggest, the worst affliction and difficulty for a person in his life is his deen. To, to grab hold of the deen firmly, that's what we should do. So these du'as that are pious predecessors of us, they have big meanings in them. And a lot of reason behind them. It's not temporary, superficial, minor that would be saved from ghosts or jinn, etc. These are just minor things. Be saved from disobedience is the real objective what should be in our mind when we do this.